Hi all, I am Dr. Vinay. I am a consultant general laparoscopic surgeon at Northside Manipal Hospital, Malayeshwaram, Bangalore. Today I will be presenting upon the management of hemorrhoids. So uh, now coming to the introduction of hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids or piles is one of the most common presentations involving one in four individuals. Uh, hemorrhoids is derived from the Greek word means uh, blood flowing. It's nothing but a the enlargement and displacement of normal anal cushions. Normal anal cushions are the component in the anal wall uh, which has the connective tissues and helps in the maintenance of the evacuation of bowel and the continence. So the pathological enlargement of the anal cushions and the displacement resulting in the symptoms of bleeding is what we call hemorrhoids. Now coming to the types of hemorrhoids. It is classified as an internal hemorrhoid when it is above the dentate line external hemorrhoid when it is below the dentate line and a both internal external hemorrhoids when it involves both the, uh, the above and below the dentate line. Characteristically they are present in the three locations 3, 7 and 11 o'clock positions which are called as a primary hemorrhoids and they, when it is present in between these positions it is called as a secondary hemorrhoid. The external hemorrhoids are the false hemorrhoids because it is present below the dentate line it is covered by the skin while the internal hemorrhoids are the true hemorrhoids which is covered by the mucosa and it is present above the dentate line. Now coming to the grades of internal hemorrhoids, it is class the primarily the internal hemorrhoids are classified into four grades depending upon the symptoms and displacement of the anal cushion. Grade 1 is just the bleeding without any prolapse, grade 2 when there is a prolapse of the hemorrhoids below the dentate line but it spontaneously reduces by itself. Grade 3 is when there is a prolapse of the hemorrhoidal tissue but it requires some manual uh, reduction into the anal canal and grade 4 when the, the internal hemorrhoids are prolapsed outside and it can't be reduced inside. Now coming to the causes of hemorrhoids. The hemorrhoids are usually secondary to the chronic long standing pressure in the, in the anal canal and this is caused by the chronic pressure when the person is trying to pass the motion. So straining during the bowel movement is one of the most common one of the most common cause for the internal hemorrhoids. The obese patient, pregnant ladies, liver patients with uh, portal hypertension can also uh, form the hemorrhoids. Now coming to the clinical features, usually the patients present with a painless bleeding that is the most common uh, symptom of the patient. Usually patient can also present with the prolapse of the hemorrhoidal tissue when there is a mucus discharge. So there is some perianal irritation due to the seepage of the fecal soiling. The pain occurs only when there is a prolapse or the thrombosis of the internal hemorrhoids. Now coming to the diagnosis and evaluation. Hemorrhoids is basically diagnosed by the clinical examination and a brief detailed history. It is also, it can be examined by the digital examination where the external hemorrhoids can be palpated, the spincer tone can be uh, assessed by the digital examination and any other lower anorectal lesions can be excluded. The anoscope or a proctoscope examination reveals the, uh, the internal hemorrhoids and the grading can also be done. Another way to diagnose the uh, hemorrhoids is a sigmoidoscopy or the colonoscopy. Now coming to the complication of hemorrhoids, the main complications being the thrombosis or strangulation of the hemorrhoids, there may be ulceration of the hemorrhoidal mucosa, there may be gangrene of the hemorrhoidal tissues and sometimes it may be causing severe hemorrhage. Coming to the most common complication what we see in the uh, clinical practices, the thrombosed uh, external hemorrhoids or the internal hemorrhoids usually they are the painful hemorrhoid uh, the, usually they are the painful hemorrhoidal tissues which are prolapsed and not uh, reducible inside thrombosis is usually thrombosis external hemorrhoids is usually managed by conservative uh, method usually with the antibiotics analgesics the pain and the thrombosis do come down if it is not relieved then surgical ex excision is indicated now coming to the management of hemorrhoids Basically, the hemorrhoids can be managed by a conservative way in a lower grades of the hemorrhoids. Usually, it involves a dietary modifications where high fiber diet is prescribed and lifestyle modifications where the uh, uh, patient is advised for reduction of the weight if the, if the patient is obese, uh, less consumption of the fat, 
uh, regular uh, uh, exercises can also cause symptomatic improvement in the hemorrhoidal tissue. Then some of the medical uh, uh, management like uh, oral flavonoids or oral ca calcium dobosylate can also decrease the uh, hemorrhoidal tissues. Uh, next coming to the uh, topical applications like uh, uh, NTG uh, or nifedipine calcium channel blockers can cause constriction of the hemorrhoidal blood vessels leading to the some symptomatic improvement. The other uh, conservative management includes uh, the uh, usage of analgesia if there is some painful uh, condition like thrombosis, external hemorrhoids, uh, sits bath where we advise the patient to sit in a warm uh, water basin for at least 10 to 15 minutes thrice daily to give some re uh, relief to the patient. If there is any severe bleeding, then uh, underlying uh, uh, the bleeding diastasis should be uh, evaluated and application of local adrenaline soak gauze can also help in the control of bleeding. Now coming to the non-operative methods of uh, management of hemorrhoids, first uh, most commonly what we use is banding. Banding is usually indicated in grade 2 and grade 3 hemorrhoids where a rubber band ligation is used as a treatment modality. It can be done as an outpatient procedure, a Barron's uh, uh, well, rubber band ligation device is introduced, the hemorrhoidal tissue is suctioned out and a rubber band ligation is done to the uh, pedicle of the hemorrhoidal tissue. This usually causes the avascular necrosis of the hemorrhoidal tissue and usually it sloughs off within about a week. The main uh, side effect being the pain, especially if the, hem the rubber band ligation is used for uh, the external hemorrhoid. So, uh, preferably this is done for an internal hemorrhoid grade 1 and grade 2. This is usually done as an office procedure and the success rate is quite good. About 80% of the people do symptomatically get better. The recurrence chance is also there when the, the rubber band ligation is done. Uh, in a not a correct way. Sclerotherapy. Sclerotherapy is another type of a non-operative management of hemorrhoids where a sclerosant, usually 5% phenol in a oil solution or a hypertonic saline is injected in the submucosal plane of the hemorrhoidal tissue. This usually causes the uh, vascular occlusion resulting in the uh, devascularization of the hemorrhoidal tissue and some symptomatic improvement. The main complication being uh, pelvic sepsis, uh, improper uh, injection of the sclerosant into the uh, hemorrhoidal tissue can cause severe pain in the area. The sclerosant therapy is again reassessed 8 weeks later and if any uh, repeat injections are required, the sclerosant is re-injected. The other modalities include uh, the cryotherapy, infrared photocoagulation of the hemorrhoidal tissue or the radiofrequency ablation. In cryotherapy, they use a freezing probe which is uh, used to uh, touch the hemorrhoidal tissue, it uh, causes the tissue destruction. The main complication being uh, pain, pain and uh, mucus discharge from the uh, anal canal. So, it is an obsolete method now. Uh, infrared photocoagulation uses a probe which causes infrared radiations causing uh, the coagulation of the blood vessels and the tissues resulting in sloughing of the hemorrhoidal tissue. The other uh, modality being a radio frequency ablator, it also uses a probe which has connected to the radio frequency machine causing uh, the destruction of the tissues and symptomatic improvement of hemorrhoidal tissue. Now coming to the surgical management of hemorrhoidal uh, uh, disease, usually operative uh, management of uh, the hemorrhoids or the piles is the most uh, uh, preferred way as it uh, reduces the symptoms and reduces the chance of recurrence also. Usually indication is uh, grade 3 and grade 4 hemorrhoidal tissue, the grade 2 uh, hemorrhoids uh, where the uh, non-operative treatment has failed, a fibrosed hemorrhoids, uh, prolapsed hemorrhoids, uh, uh, these are the few indications where the surgical management is preferred way of treatment. Usually excision of hemorrhoidal tissue uh, is done by either scissors, diathermy, using of uh, electrocoagulation. Uh, harmonic uh, scalpel uh, technique or a ligature excision. Techniques of uh, open hemorrhoidectomy includes uh, a, a Milligan Morgan's technique where the excision site is left open or a closed or a Ferguson technique in where the uh, excision of an internal external hemorrhoid is done and the site is closed using the suture materials. 
Complications of hemorrhoidectomy usually involves pain in the early time in the early post operative phase. It may cause reactionary hemorrhage. Late complications include uh, stenosis or incontinence which is very rare. The other modality is the stapler hemorrhoidopexy. Here uh, using a state, uh, circular stapling device, the lower rectum and the upper anal canal mucosa and submucosa is excised. Uh, it's usually indicated in grade 4 prolapsing uh, circumferential hemorrhoidal uh, treatment. Usually it preserves the anal cushion and hence the continence is also preserved. Usually the advantages being uh, it's a quick, less painful and the patient uh, can recover in a better way. The uh, disadvantages of stapler uh, hemorrhoidopexy being uh, the cost of the device and sometimes it may cause uh, pelvic sepsis. The other modality of the treatment includes uh, transanal uh, hemorrhoidal de-arterialization or a Doppler guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation. Here a Doppler guided probe is inserted into the anal canal. The pedicle or the vascular supply of the hemorrhoidal tissue is identified and hemorrhoidal artery ligation is done. So this is a newer way in where uh, usually patient uh, comes as an outpatient procedure. Uh, it's done uh, and the recovery is quite fast and it's usually a painless pr procedure since the uh, it, uh, the procedure is involved uh, ligation of the artery above the dentate line. So the take home message or the summary of uh, the presentation will be a hemorrhoidal or the piles is uh, a common condition affecting 1 in 4 individuals. The most common symptom being the bleeding which is painless. A painful hemorrhoidal uh, indicates either a thrombosis or strangulation. Uh, the, treatment man the treatment or the management includes a variation from uh, uh, the, the conservative uh, where it involves a dietary modification, lifestyle modification to a radical surgery. Uh, hemorrhoidal, the surgery being the most preferred way since the recurrence and the management is most effective method. Thank you all. Uh, if you have any doubts or clarification, please uh, do leave a comment. We will try to reply back uh, to the clarifications or doubts. Uh, if you like this video, please share this video to the others who require such information. If you like such videos, please let us know any uh, medical or the surgical uh, uh, troubles or the topics which you require. We will try to bring uh, such topics in future sessions. Thank you.